Okay, so the first stop of the morning here, we went to Toledo, Ohio, another hood liquor store, Monroe Carryout. And uh, they actually had a couple bottles of Weller Antique. Uh, only one per customer with these silly Ohio rules or else uh, I would have grabbed a bottle for <laughs> at least one of my buddies back in KC. But so far we're off to a good start this morning here at Monroe Carryout in Toledo, Ohio. All right, we're out. Welcome to Michigan. All right, we're back in with another update here. Um, stopped at another place that was a bust, but they had an awesome breakfast place next door. So I filled my belly and came over here across town. We're in Monroe, Michigan, by the way. And uh, just pulled out of this little store and got me an A123, Elijah Craig barrel proof. So now I just need that C923 and uh, I don't know what else I need to find after that, but it'll just be, that's really the only bottle I'm specifically after at this point. Um, after that, it'll just be maybe popping in places here and there and just uh, seeing if I see anything cool or interesting. So, all right, I guess on to the next one. All right, next update. We're just north of Monroe, we might still be in Monroe, Michigan, but uh, just making my way up 24 Highway, which is called Telegraph here in Michigan. Um, stopped in this little place and they didn't really have anything cool that I don't have at home, but I decided to buy some Michigan straight bourbon whiskey distilled in Grand Rapids, a little 90 proofer. The guy let me use the bathroom and he gave me a divider box to put some of these bottles in. So I decided to give him a little bit of my business here. I guess we'll see how that is and uh, check in on the next one. All right, y'all. All right, everybody. So probably the final stop of the day over here. Um, Merchant Wine, Merchant Fine Wines over here on the east side of Gross Point. I got sent here from a tip. Uh, the guy I went to high school with, his brother owns a store, one of the hood stores in Detroit. I knew if I stopped in there and uh, did some name dropping that they'd help me find a bottle that I wanted. So we were able to get us a C923 finally. Uh, turned these down at the Heaven Hill Distillery like an idiot, thinking they were overpriced there. And hell, I pretty much paid what they had them priced for there at this place. So one more off the checklist. And uh, I don't think we're going to hit any more places tonight here in, in Detroit. But uh, you never know. We'll see what happens. All right. Out for now. All right. So we're getting ready to shove off out of Detroit this morning and of course no trip to detroit for me anyway would be complete without stopping for breakfast at the tellway they got the little onion grease ball burgers in here which i'll get four of them for breakfast and the most wonderfully delicious cup of coffee you ever had so if you're in the detroit area and you like these little greasy spoon diner type places stop at the tellway check them out the best cup of coffee you ever had in your life all right all right, so the other day when I came in here and got my bottle of Elijah Craig B523 barrel proof, uh, I forgot to do the video about it. Uh, they're closed right now. It's uh, early in the morning. I'm getting ready to head out from Detroit back to Kansas City. But I wanted to come here and give these guys a shout out. This was our little corner store we used to go to as kids here in Berkeley. And uh, Ron Wally uh wally's wife i can't remember her name unfortunately but um his son vince uh it was zach nader who's now a police officer um these guys always used to treat us like gold in this place they would they do things like heck when i first started working as a young man uh, i'd be broke on monday you know like a lot of young people are after the weekend they'd let me write them a personal check for 20 or 30 dollars and cash it for me hold it till the next friday so i could get gas and cigarettes stuff like that the rest of the week but um yeah anyway i wanted to make sure i gave these guys a proper shout out i love you guys uh, got a lot of good memories of coming in and out of this store when i was a kid my dad still comes in here and gets his beer he's uh he's a dutch with the stroh's beer you guys know who he is so anyway shout out to mug and jug fine wine and spirits all right y'all all right, so 
Frickin' Michigan and Indiana. Yeah, I forgot you can't buy alcohol on Sunday before noon. So back on my road trip here, I stopped at Spring Valley Disc Golf Course in Kalamazoo. And uh, well, I'm on hole six right now. I'm uh, three under par through the first five holes, which is pretty good. Anyway, if you don't want to watch disc golf stuff for a minute here, fast forward or click off. If not, I guess I'm going to throw a little uh, dinker forehand at this little 170 foot basket here and we'll see if we can't get a birdie. All right, let's go. Get in there. Now it's up there for a putt. So anyway, yeah, we'll check back in after uh, the round. I'll let you know what I scored. And then uh, hopefully we can get maybe time it where we get in Indiana, at least the tail end of it, to hop in a liquor store before noon. All right, bye. All right, well, we just finished our disc golf round here. Pulling out of the course right now. Uh, shot nine under par, which is, I mean, I could have done better. Like every hole out here is birdieable if you're not driving and putting like a dumbass. Only had one bogeys i went ob on one of the holes but other than that i enjoyed the course nice little lakeside park over here in kalamazoo so now uh it's just past 11 so we've probably killed enough time hopefully when we're in indiana we can pop in a liquor store uh, as it'll be open afternoon so all right we'll see you in indiana all right everybody we're at slauson's liquor here in benton harbor turns out we had enough time to stop at a michigan liquor store after all it's just a little bit afternoon so these places are just opening so let's go inside see what they got uh it's lost the liquor at benton harbor y'all got the 2304 batch of bookers in here all right back on the road all right we're at angelo's party store here in benton harbor let's go inside see what they got I think so. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get that Origin up there. That who? It's that uh, Dragon's Milk Origin towards the top shelf at 54. Way up there. No, you were just pointing at it. Right now you're pointing at it. Oh, right here. Yes, sir. <laughs> okay. I'll take that, man. Right on. Thank you. All right. Once again, that was Angelo's Party Store here in Benton Harbor, Michigan. Pretty decent selection, really. It had some kind of bottles you don't see every day in there for for a smaller type selection and we came out of there with a bottle of this origin small batch it's dragon's milk this was requested of me by a co-worker so sean here you go buddy uh, be back with it sometime later tonight all right All right, Michigan City, Indiana, Trail Creek Liquors. Let's go see what they got in here. Uh, pretty decent selection in here. Some of this stuff's up on the high shelf, though. If you can see it. I want to know if there's anything in here I should have grabbed. I'm getting my buddy some benchmarks from off the bottom shelf. So, I don't know if... already put quite a strain on the wallet on this trip so <laughs> Let's see what we got here if something catches my eye I might pick it up see any Elijah Craig single barrel in here. So 
all your nice scotches. It's like a whole bunch of them. Uh, see a lot of stuff here that they got. High planes. Never seen that stuff before. The forge. Any, anything, pretty much anything over 50 bucks, I'm not gonna buy unless I already had it or know something about it. I've been burned a couple times. Most notably the $99 bottle of chicken cock, double oaked. It was more like chicken shit diet oak. I guess we're in Chicagoland here in Michigan City, Indiana. seen that before that's 129 Maybe I want one that's over the 130 like everybody's saying back down whiskey row I used to get this stuff from the bar back when I didn't know nothing about whiskey. Ooh, Larson Barrel Proof is on sale. Which batch is that? Ooh, C923. I don't know if I have that one yet or not. Mmm. Yeah, what the hell? I think I don't have that one. I'm going to buy it. Man, I'm gonna have to make this place a video all on its own. All kinds of, there's your bird dog, Stellum. I have the Stellum Black, that's their cast strength or whatever. Pretty good stuff. Not Nothing special though, I don't think it was. I got it for half price was the only reason I even owned the bottle. I've already got a few of these benchmarks sitting up on the counter there for a co-worker back home. Of course, they were out of the foolproof, so I'll probably have to stop at another store in Indiana on the way home. And then, yep, yeah, mostly just your, oh yeah, well, we got to check this out. And those are blue metal caps on that early times. Darn it. This stuff's actually pretty good. That fighting cock, it's like a six year aged. I don't know what is 103 proof. Yeah, so I mean for 16, 17 bucks, usually what you see it for is pretty good, so. All right. Oh, holy mackerel, there's a whole nother whole nother whiskey section here i didn't even see these behind me a couple more anyway new riff i think we're getting down into the tequilas on this side this stuff here switchgrass is out of st louis my buddy bought a bottle said it wasn't any so, yeah well those are mostly just your fancy tequila bottles here and Yep, I think that does it for this place. They do have a uh, Knob Creek single barrel, or Knob Creek single barrel, Knob Creek 18 up there. I think I'll skip on it, like 200 bucks. So, all right, yeah. All right, everybody, so I didn't film inside this place. It's uh, Triangle Liquors, again in Michigan City, Indiana. They had a bunch of loud music playing in there. Did have a pretty nice selection, um, but all I came out of there with was a, uh, finally bought one of these, straying away from the bourbon, the hell, it's bourbon, found the 132 and a half proof on this Jack Daniels, single barrel barrel proof, otherwise known as liquid banana bread, so, yep, that's Triangle Liquors here in Michigan City, Indiana, all right.
Hey, Major Zero. Creek 18. This is Verks, Michigan City, Indiana. Looks like they got some pretty nice stuff in here. All right. All right, so that was Verks Discount Liquor here in Michigan City, Indiana. Uh, man, Michigan City, Indiana's got the, the game going on strong with the liquor store selections here. Um, yeah, I'm in the cars. It's windy as heck outside, so uh you know i didn't buy anything too taterish in there uh but i had a request another co-worker request here um we got a hold of the his joseph magnus cigar blend finally um 239 or something like that so not too not too much more than what the normal price of that is but man they had that birthday bourbon in there they had old fitzgerald uh, i also got a Got this benchmark foolproof here. So yeah, we're coming home with a whole bunch of bottles back to Kansas City. Um, we'll see what happens here. All right, that was Verks, Michigan City, Indiana. All right, everybody. So this is Arena Liquor here in Columbia, Missouri. They didn't want me filming in the store. They had a big old museum tater rack up behind the counter there. <laughs> Uh, they had $3.99 on the Russell's 13 that I got for 72 bucks in St. Louis at the beginning of my trip. But I did come out of there with a uh, well, the 22 release, BRT Makers. So anyway, this is going to be the last bottle of the trip here. I'm heading back to Kansas City and going to bed tonight. So uh, I'll do a little recap after this of everything we got the second leg of the trip back so all right everybody all right so just a quick little recap of the entire haul from like the toledo southeast michigan and uh indiana portion uh the return home part of the trip um so that weller there came from the little liquor store in toledo now ohio state run Everything it's pretty handy the way they do it actually. I was able to get on that OHLQ website or whatever it is and search for what I wanted, see if there were any available in my area. Since I was going through Toledo anyway, I knew that they had this at the store ahead of time. So I didn't know if there was gonna be a line of people. Uh turns out there were, but none of them were there for bourbon. So it was kind of like a hood spot, so uh probably not really a too popular of a bourbon place, but anyway that was pretty cool so and then there's that eastern kill whiskey support my michigan businesses got all three of the elijah craigs from michigan um that c923 came because well one of my buddies from high school owns a liquor store and his uh his brother made a phone call and got me to hook up at another liquor store there party store i should say that's what they call them up there in Detroit. So they got food and pizza and stuff oftentimes and uh, chips and all that stuff. Pop, not just a liquor store. Uh, that's another Michigan product there out of Holland, Michigan. Um, I don't know anything about it. I just grabbed it because uh, I wanted to give the guy that sold me the C923 a little extra business for hooking me up like that. Uh, the Larceny, that was from Indiana. Jack Daniels was from Indiana. The Makers there, um, that was from a store in Columbia called Arena Liquors, Columbia, Missouri. I got that right before I got home. These benchmarks down here for my buddy Sean at work. Got those all in Indiana. 
that origin that came from Benton Harbor, Michigan also, that's for Sean. And then his grail bottle there, Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend. So anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, talk smack in the comments, whatever you want to do. Uh, it was a lot of fun on the road trip. I didn't really do it to do bourbon hunting. It was mostly to go up there and see my parents up in the Detroit area. So just got a chance to mix in a little bit of bourbon hunting on the way through. So figured I'd take advantage, had the time off work. So, all right, y'all, till next time.